I always fathom as to how they pick the winners and unfortunately for me I've always haven't been on the winning side but um, you know we had world champion after world champion after world champion in the running for that event tonight and how they picked between us I'm not sure I'm, I'm so honoured that they, they did, you know the honour fell on me. You spoke a little bit about it on stage. What does being an AIS, AIS athlete mean to you? Well, I mean, it's opportunity. It's a chance. And I think with a lot of Australians and the passion that we have and the incredibly rich culture of the sporting uh, history in our country, uh, to have a chance at, at this type of life and to represent your country and wear the green and gold colours emulates and brings a lot of pride. Um, and for me, that's, that's a huge. You spoke there about being a product of the AIS. What, no, for the people who don't know what that means, you know, what is the AIS story and how it, has it helped you? Well, I mean, I came from a regional area in Queensland. I grew up in country Queensland and was, was recognised by the Queensland Academy of Sport initially when I was quite young. Um, and it wasn't until I was about 17 or 18 that I started to really show some physical um, and mental um, good performances. And once the AIS came on board and took some burden off of mum and dad with the financial constraints of an expensive sport, especially with a young growing athlete where bikes need to be you know, constantly made bigger and equipment needs to be replaced, um, the, the focus can be put more on the performance of the athlete and the development of the athlete. Um, I've had work across the board from media training to career and education to handling psychological issues like stress and pressure and that's aside from the physical development um, and the lessons that come along with that as well. You just touched on that, I was going to say for people who don't know, what, what is behind the scenes of the AIS? They see you on the track, but what, what goes into the, the daily life of, of an AIS athlete? There's a lot that goes into it, especially at the elite level. Um, you know, you, you've got to work on your physical side because that's essentially what you're here for. Your job is to, to be an athlete. Uh, but there is so much um, involved in that and performing on the day that people don't often see. It's, it's the psychological and mental pressures of um, trying to win that first world championship crown or win, win that first commonwealth crown and then trying to defend that and add more to it and the pressures that comes with media and expectation and hope. Hope is a really hard one to deal with, the, the hope of trying to, to gain some success. So um, lessons in life right across the board.